Let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our first chapter of the today's lesson is going to be brought to you by the preacher and an online evangelist, Honorable Dr. Deb. And today's lesson is about God's purpose for His church. The church is God's appointed agency for the salvation of men. It was faithfully organized for service, and its mission is to carry the gospel to the world. From the beginning, the church has been God's plan that through his church shall be reflected to the world his fullness and his sufficiency. And the members of the church, those whom he has called out of darkness into his marvelous light, are to show forth his glory. The church is the repository of the riches of the grace of Christ and through the church will eventually be made manifest even to the principalities and powers in heavenly places. The final and full display of the love of God in Ephesians 3.10 Many and wonderful are the promises recorded in the scriptures regarding the church. Mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. In Isaiah 56.7 I will make them and the places round by heal and blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in his season. These are the wonderful words of God with the title God's purpose for his church. God has a, a purpose. He has a mere purpose for his church since the beginning. So there shall be showers of blessings, and I will raise up for them a plan of renewal, and they shall be no more consumed. With hunger in the land, neither be at the shame of the holding any more. Thus shall they know that I love I, the Lord, the God, am with them, and that they even the house of Israel are my people, said the Lord, the Lord God of hosts. And you, my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men, and I am your God, said the Lord God in Ezekiel 34, 26, 29, 31. Yeah. I am a witness, said the Lord, and the servant whom I have chosen that you may know and believe in me and understand that I am he, the Lord God. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall be there after me. I, that says God, even I am the Lord and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and I've saved and I've showed when there was no strange God among you, therefore you are my witness. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness, and I will hold time your hand and I will keep you. And Lord, I've called you in righteousness, and He will keep calling us as time will be going on. Thank you for listening. Thank God. Let thanks and pray to God for His wonderful blessing. Be blessed. Amen.